Hello everybody, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost and today I am attempting to make something I saw on Pinterest by only watching the video once. I don't think it's exactly what I saw but I'm doing my best. So this was Clardy Craft Hands and she made a travel wallet and this little piece slides off and then when you open it up there are I, I think, I don't recall because I watched it once and I'm trying to do my best to challenge myself to see if I can make what I saw. And uh, so you're going to see if I can, I can make this again. I don't even know if this is exactly what I saw. Well, let's see. Okay, it was very easy to make and I think it would be very fun to put um, little items in for any junk journal. You could put in um, little stickers or you could take, I, this is some embossed book page that I made. And is that, what is that? Uh, probably go like this, I think. Something like this, will that fit? So anything that you can find that might be fun to tuck in here, it's probably not going to be the right size. Oh, it's not bad. Okay, so you can put a bunch of things in there, which would be very cute. And then you put the little uh, sleeve on, and it'll be a little mini ephemera holder. So that's, I guess, I will call it. Okay, so very basic concept. Um, if you're looking for things to use up a 12 by 12 scrap piece of paper, this might be your ticket. Here we go. A very simple cross fold. We're going to fold it this way and then this way. Okay, and I happen to stencil the back of that. Forgot I did that, but it looks kind of cool. We'll just roll with it. I think most of that will not show. So there is fold one. And then we're going to do, turn it, fold number two. Oh gosh, we're hoping Pam remembers how she did this. Okay, here we go. You just never know in the craft room. Okay, so now we're going to leave it as is, take the top sheet, bend it back to the base. Then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Try and line it up with the base. Okay, flip it over, do the same thing. Okay, so far so good. Not too complicated. Not an origami swan. Just a, some basic folding here. Anybody can do this. Okay. And um, now we're going to open it up and we're going to cut three quarters of a way across. So one, two, three. We're going to cut that. Getting nervous. Okay. I hope this works. All right. So can you see all that now? Raise that up a bit. Okay. Let me move the paper a little bit. Okay. It's true. I have not cleaned my desk since I finished that journal. I know. Bad crafter. Bad crafter. Okay. There's only so many hours in a day, right? Okay, we do what we can. Crafting comes first. Um, but Pam, it would be so much easier if your place was clean. I know. I know. I hear you. I'm, I'm, but you know what? Right now, this is more fun. So that's what we're doing. Okay. From the point of there, all the way down. Okay. Oh, that was a bad cut. That was a really bad cut. Mm -hmm. No, I didn't. Apparently, did I? Maybe I did. Maybe it did a move. I don't know. This is the way it goes. You really got to hold your stuff still, Mr. No, that wasn't a very good cut. Let's try again. Okay, there we go. Let's see if we can... Apparently, there's a faux pas that has happened already. We'll see if we can work around it. Okay. So now what we want to do is... We want to... This is going to be... take. There's one side that's still attached. This one piece, that's going to be your center. You know, get everybody organized. Put that as your center piece. Then bring these up like this. These are going to be the two flaps that glue onto the wallet or the ephemera holder. So, so far, so good. Okay, we're doing okay. Now, all right. So you could do this a couple different ways. And I think I'm starting to remember what she did. The middle one, I think, was a, 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 a side pocket. So I think she did this. And if not, this is still, it's still fun. Okay, you do that. Now this one is open at the top and the bottom. So I am just going to come along and seal the bottom. I'm going to leave the side solid. Okay, so that gives us, uh, so far we have an opening here and we have an opening at the top. And this one you could do either way. Let's say you want another one that opens like this. Okay, let me see if this works before I open my mouth. Okay, so what you do with this one the third one, you're going to come along and you're going to glue the top and the bottom. I know. Risky, right? Yeah, very risky. But we're going to do it. Okay, now we're going to take that third one. This way, this is sealed, this is sealed, and this is sealed. So we need to open this. 
So we're going to take our handy dandy ruler and shave off a little slivery slim piece right here to open that up. Go slow, steady, wins the race, no rushing, no wiggling. Okay, now we have another open pocket here. So now I'm going to take the, th there's three, are you open? What do we need? What do we need? Oh yeah, you're opening at the top, that's okay. So I'm going to take these two because they're going to open to the right here. At the same time, I'm going to punch them so I have punches Half circle punches gives nice thumb holes. And then the top one, I want it to open at the top and I want people to know it's a, a pocket. So I'm going to put a big thumb hole there. Now, before I glue it in, I'm going to take my magic dauber. And this is called the ink the bejeebers out of it. Okay. You don't have to do this. This is just kind of fun. All right. So here we go. This is what it looks like. Okay. It's kind of wonky, kind of weird. I know. But we're just going to work with it. We're going to go along and ink up these little thumb holes. This is going to make it look more vintage, if you like the vintage look. Hope you're having fun today. Is everybody uh, doing crafty things? Are you are you hanging out with your papers and, and enjoying yourself? I hope so. And um, there we go. There we go. All righty. And then we'll go this way. And this is the last couple on this side. Goes pretty fast when you do what I call the cheater inking. Do, do, do. There you go. And then this last one. Do, 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 do. And if you want, you can take your dauber on the side and give it the whoop, whoop, down the middle. You could fold them on back upon themselves, but it's getting uh, kind of a little bulky, so I'm not going to do that. Okay, and then there's one more here. It's going to come in with the side of this and just hew it chew it a little bit. I'm going to ink them up a little bit more around where the, the thumb holes are. Have good inky thumb holes. Good inky thumb holes. Okay. Okay. There we go. Okay. Now, I'm going to take this calamity here, and the, these are our two back flaps. See the two back flaps? We're going to take some we're going to take this first. This is going to be, I think, a nice complementary color. And we are going to kind of see where we want to put this. I want to leave about a quarter of an inch from the top and all sides. Um, a good healthy quarter inch. Yep. All right. Take our handy dandy ruler. Make sure it is straight, Pam. I'm never sure. I'm never sure. I know you're never sure. Okay, just do your best. Okay. Now she's talking to herself. Okay, here we go. All right. Okay, not exactly even, but we'll do our best. Because we're not measuring. No, we're not. We're just doing it because it's fun. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, 50% right now, all through March, big March Madness special at the, at the Paper Outpost Etsy shop. There's the link. It's 50% off all DigiKits download files only. That means the JPEG ones that you download to your computer and print them out at home. This does not include the printable, the printed and mailed DigiKits, only the, the computer files. So 50% off. You've got over 260 uh, themes to pick from. So if you've been sitting back wondering if this is the time to do it, this is the time to do it. There you go. All right. So, oh, no. Not, not a good angle here. Okay, working backwards, upside down. Not easy. Okay, there we go. Good. All right, we did not bad. I'll, I'll give myself 10 points for that. And I think at this point, it would be a good time to come in here and ink the bejeepers about it, this, this edging here. I think it would just be a very opportune moment to get in there and, and do that right now. It's just easier to do right now. Okay, there we go. All right, let's take this. Let's cover that. And let us apply the glue I am using today. Guess what? Fabrifix clear silicone glue, fabric to fabric, fabric to paper, paper to paper. Okay, not sponsored, just like the glue. Did I mention that? Okay. All right, here we go. All right, here, around the sides. And I can actually hold it by its middle stuff. Here we go. So this little project comes together relatively quickly. It's a fun thing. You can add little ephemera pieces, stickers, 
um, rubber stamped pieces, little pieces of stationery, whatever you like to your junk journals as um, an extra little place. You can easily handle being tucked into the junk journal itself or you can um, put it on top of your journal for presentation purposes. You know, you can just have all sorts of fun with this. Okay, there we go. Press that nice down. Make sure it all gets out to the edges. And then we are going to fold it upon itself. And I would say this would be a, a wonderful time to bring out your bone folder if you have one because to help you get that nice, beautiful crease. Okay, there we go. Very nice. So we have the wallet shape. I did round the corner, so I'm using a crocodile corner chomper. Hang on, light's in the wrong place. Okay, I think, is that better? No, every, it's, it's worse. Okay, there we go. Oh, oh, light's gonna want to, oh, hello, that's the light. <laughs> okay, you know, it's one of those days. Okay, and I'm um, going to corner chomp it. There we go. And then I literally just grabbed something that was on my desk. Oh, you're pretty. You might you can actually go there somehow. This was sitting here. So for the first one, I just grabbed a piece of uh, Leonardo da Vinci. It uh, was a big coffee table book. had nice thick pages, and I thought it had pretty um, picture and font and text on it and stuff like that. But maybe this one I will use something like that. So maybe, since this does have some pinkish in it, I will go with this pinkish avocado dyed paper just for fun because it's here and that means that's one more thing I don't have to clean up yay okay I'll tear that I love torn edges um maybe I'm going to even fold it over how about that I'll make it a little thicker um it'll be a fatter one just because and then actually let me just do this I'm going to glue these together so it's a little more sturdy probably didn't really need two pages but that's okay got it now but now I think I want to I want to tear this edge. Give it a little more torn look edge. Kind of like it, like it. Yeah, yeah. And then where we go from here is anybody's, anybody's guess. Okay, I'll take a little bit of that. Probably don't need this whole thing. Let's, let's actually, let's tear this too. We'll make it to a size that's comfortable. And then we'll, we'll do a, a size test. Okay, so it doesn't have to be perfect or anything, but the whole idea is make it it does oh no we could put that one on top that would be good okay so let's do that and you want to leave like a little bit of room because if you put stuff in it it might bulk it up a little bit more so make sure you do that so this is going to be a permanent seal make sure you don't glue it to uh, make sure you don't glue it to your um folder just there okay so now we have something like that which is kind of cute liking it and where was that piece Put it like that. We can put it like that. I think, I don't know, for some reason, I think it might look better like that because it shows. Um, don't even know if I want all of this. Let's see if we can minimize it a little bit. I think I can go in between these two little spots here. We make it a, a smaller thingy. All right. All right. What have we got? Straighten you out a bit. Okay. Oh, I can do it like this now. Yep, that is actually kind of cool. All right, so I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to add that right across here. I'm going to glue it down with the old Fabrifix. Good stuff. Yeah, and now we have this. And isn't that a beauty? That's right. So now as we take this off, it comes off because it perfectly fits. And then we have a tall one in the top. Okay, so I will find something tall. I can put in the top. And here is a piece of handmade paper. Let me see if, I think, where's it? I think this will help. Let me get a nice thin piece of this. I'm going to use this to help cut, or at least make the place so it bends evenly. This is handmade paper from old uh, junk mail and scraps and stuff like that. And I'm just going to go ahead and tuck that in there with just a little bit peeking out so they know that there's, there's something there. And in these side ones, where are those things? I had a whole bunch of them. Oh, here. I cut out some of these um, pretty pink flowers that we uh, that were a recent digi kit. So I think I'm just going to put several of them in here as a little collection. I think that might be fun. 
And what you can do if you don't want things to run around on you, you can add a little paper clip and that will hold the cluster together. So if you're ever trying to get something to attractively poke out of a pocket, just use a little paper clip and then go ahead and tuck it in. And then it's just barely showing, but when they pull it out, the whole thing will come out in a collection. So you've, you've made it easy for them. And we like to make it easy for everybody around here. We don't want any fuss. No fuss, no muss. And then, oh, I don't know, maybe you've got something else, like this nice little piece of calligraphy. And um, this is just a pretty piece from an old antique ledger. And maybe I'm going to tuck that in there as a little special surprise. And that's pretty that you can see the inside is decorated as well. Now a nice little bonus. We have that. And the little topper. Let's see if it still fits. Let's hope, let's hope. Dun, 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 dun. And if it doesn't, we're just going to make a wider one. Because <laughs> that's the way it goes sometimes. Okay, apparently, once you stuff it, you can't make it that tight again. So we're going to have to take this apart. That's what we're going to do. We're going to take it apart. Okay, and now we're going to re-glue it a little. Okay, so when you want to do this, you want to actually make this part at the end. That would be the smart thing. This is what happens when you don't, you know, you, you just make this um, on the fly, which is, that's what's happening here. Okay, now the extra glue, I can roll off, or I can cover that up if it got mucky or yucky. Like, for example, if I, if I goobered it and it's not looking pretty, we can put a little piece of paper there that might make it look better. Like here's something that was used for another project. It's just a little scrap, but it's a great way to use up um, a piece of something that maybe not would have had a purpose. But today, today it has grand purpose. It is going to cover up the, the evil of our ways. All right, there we go. Hope this works. Um, <laughs> okay, got that. Let's see if we're going in. Oh, yeah, it's feeling a little better. Probably could have even used a little, oh, it wasn't, I was stuck there. There we go. Looks so easy on the, uh, you know, when you watch the other person's film, it's like, oh, yeah, no problem. I got that. There we go. There, we're, now we're working, and we're good. Um, so we have this example, and then we have this example. So different ways that you can decorate them just for fun. And there you go. So a couple of ephemera, nope, horrible lighting, sorry, uh, ephemera envelopes for you to consider uh, to add to your junk journals. So let me see if I can find Mr. Snuffles. Let me just put that down there. Um, okay, so Mr. Mr. Snuffles, where are you? Where are you? You're not here. Oh, you're over on the couch sprawled out like like a, a Christmas goose. Okay, come on. Come on, you know what it's time for. Is it time for? Yes, it is. Okay, I thought maybe it was about time. I was wondering when. Yeah, here, it's now. Are you ready? Not really. Okay, well, we're going in. We're going in hot and loaded. Here we go. <gasps> Hello, everybody. It's sunshine with the very bright light. Um, Mom, can you move the light just a little bit, please? Just a little. Okay, thank you. All right, everybody's much better now. Oh, light moved. Okay. Um, this is Sunshine, Cub Pup Reporter, reporting to you on the happenings at the Paper Outpost and in Sunshine's life. Okay, so Sunshine's life. We're just getting straight to that. We're skipping all the other stuff. In Sunshine's life today. Um. Okay, so Mom was gone for a long time, but she came back. And I can't really tell how long she was gone because I don't tell time. But I could tell by the shadows. That was it. I watched the shadows of the trees outside. And through my great powers of deduction, magnetism, uh, cross-triangulating the clouds and the stars, and when three birds flew by and then came back home, I assumed she was gone for quite a while. How do I know? because there were no snacks. There was lack of snack. Lack of snack occurred while mother was gone. So Sunshine starts to put this together, you see. No mom, no snacks. Doesn't matter what, how good a boy Sunshine is, there are no snacks. Sunshine can sit there innocently, not doing anything, minding his own business, not chewing things he's not supposed to chew, not barking at squirrels, still no snacks, because mom's not here. Okay, so 
mom, you're not allowed to leave. That's, that's pretty much it. That's what, that's all I got. And I love you all. Happy crafting. <laughs> Sunshine out. Okay. Why am I always in trouble? I always feel like I'm in trouble lately. Um, if you're looking for a link to all my links, there it is, the magic link to all my links. If you don't have an easy way to find my links, which are all in the description box down below. I have a free monthly email newsletter. If you don't know about that, you get a free digital image, checklist of supplies, note from the bookmaker, which explains what a junk journal is and how to use it, and a page list of ideas on how to break a blank page. I also My videos come out Mondays, Wednesdays, Saturdays, and Sundays, if I get my scheduling right, working on that. And uh, what else? Um, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. You're going to also see an Etsy shop where I sell um, digi kits, which are printable downloads, or I have a print and mail option. If you don't like to print or don't have a printer, I will print out 10 digi kits for you. All you need to do is buy the print and mail option and then send me the list of 10 digi kit names. I only need the first two or three words to know which one you're talking about. And then you send that through Etsy message or to Pam at the paper .com, my email address. Okay, and then I also sell fundals, which are collections of old and interesting papers, um, very interesting vintage book pages, antique book pages, um, antique ledger, checks, receipts, postcards, black and white photos, tea cards, uh, very interesting things, music papers, dictionary pages, all sorts of fun things, different textures, different color shades uh, for you to use in your junk journals. And I have a merchandise shop if you like the phrase create with reckless abandon or everything is a craft supply until proven otherwise you can get yourself a t-shirt sweatshirt zip hoodie mug tote or water bottle um with the phrase create with reckless abandon or everything is a craft supply until proven otherwise and then um you can find me on twitter pinterest instagram linkedin facebook facebook group Come and join our Facebook group. We're having a lot of fun over there doing weekly and monthly challenges, as well as seeing what you guys make from these videos. And most of all, remember that fun can be simple. And create with reckless abandon, everybody. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.